Hello everybody, I am Kelly Loveday, your independent Scentsy consultant. Yes, I decided to try Scentsy. So, welcome, and uh, we're gonna see how this journey goes. <laughs> so, I made an order. Um, yeah, I bought some warmers, I bought some wax, and I bought some pods. So we're gonna start with the wax first. Uh, the first one I got is Evergreen Grapefruit. And Evergreen and Grapefruit is Fur Needles, White Cedar, and Grapefruit. This is really pretty. Um, you definitely get the Evergreen I definitely, or the fur needles, um, I get the white cedar, or I don't know if it's white or not, but it's cedar, and you get a little bit of the grapefruit. It's not too astringent. You would think that grapefruit would be like super strong and powerful. It's not, it's more like a, it's, it's like a pretty soft citrus note citrus note. The fur needles is the strongest. The cedar comes second and the grapefruit is on the bottom. But it's more just like a really pretty citrus. I really like that one. All right, the next one I got is cranberry garland. And cranberry garland is a sweet tart cranberry sage and pine cones. This is so nice. I really like this one. I definitely get the cranberry and it is sweet and tart at the same time. I don't think I'm really getting a lot of sage. But there is another note in there. I'm assuming it's the pine cones. It has a little bit of um, uh, spice to it, but it's not like a cinnamony, cinnamony type spice. It's, mm. I don't know, I guess it could be like, you know when you get the pine cones and they have the, the cinnamon on it, but it's not strong cinnamon. That's really, really, really a nice winter scent. And I don't like cinnamon, so and that one is definitely doable for me. It doesn't say cinnamon in the scent notes, but I am getting some spice. Okay. This next one is Vanilla Mint, which is Wintergreen Frost, Vanilla, and Frozen. I can't even remember my own writing. Frozen Citrus. Citrus. Okay. I definitely get... The winter green and vanilla. I, I don't smell citrus in here. It doesn't smell like gum. It doesn't smell like um, spearmint gum or anything like that. Not at all. Winter green frost is a nice description because you kind of get that cooling effect from it. No citrus. Just a wintergreen and vanilla. I really enjoy it. Okay, then I got the scent pods. And then I'll show you what the scent pods go to. The first uh, scent pod I got was Very Merry Cranberry. And it is cranberry, red winter berries, and cedar. And you get two pods. They're like these little beads. So no spillage, you don't have to worry about them 
spilling and causing a wax in it, so to speak. This one is such a pretty, pretty, pretty scent. I definitely get like a sweet cranberry. With a little hint of like a wood type note. But it's mainly sweet cranberry to my nose. Okay, the next one I got was Very Blessed. And this is Soft Vanilla Cranberries and Sugar. Mm -mm. This is not cranberry. This smells like peach. This reminds me of those peach rings. It's very sugary, sweet, and candy-like. They would have been better off calling this, you know, if they would have just said that it had the uh, peach in it instead of cranberry. Peach, vanilla, and sugar. Because that's what I'm smelling. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. The neighbor guy over here lets his dogs run wild all over the area and they're running into my neighbor across the streets driveway. Yes, that smells good though. It's, it's, I, I do like the um, candied uh, peach. And then the last one I got is Happy Holidays, which is golden pear, clove, and pine. Oh yeah, this is pretty. It's very, you definitely get the clove. Now I personally like clove. I do get like a spiced pear, like a pear that's been um, baked or, yeah, baked. <sighs> With the spices, that's really good. Okay, then I'm going to show you the unit that goes with it. This is a wall fan diffuser and I got the stack. Okay. So let me unpackage this bad boy. I'm excited to start using this. Put all this stuff down here. This is the wall fan diffuser. And the thing I like about this is it's got a button on the bottom. Push the button in and this turns. So if you have wonky outlets or you have a husband that put your outlet in upside down or something, it'll fit either way. So it rotates. This top just comes off like this. And then you will take one of your scent pods say and you can put it down like this. These can take one, or you can stack two. Then you just put the top right back on there. It just sets down on there. Your on and off switch is right here in the front, and this will illuminate. This is the only thing that illuminates. This one, this particular one does not illuminate. Uh, they do have a couple that do, though, um, that throws light down on the bottom. So this is really cool. I like this. And like I said, you can just use one or two. And when you don't want it on anymore, you sh shut it off and that's it. You turn it on, instant fragrance. It's plastic, so you don't have to worry about it getting broke if it gets knocked off the wall, if you have pets or small children. So that is exciting too. Okay, then... I got a couple warmers and I really like my warmers. Let me move this over here. Okay, this first warmer I got is called the Marrakesh. Marrakesh warmer. And this is a 25 watt warmer. And what I like about Scentsy is they always have like little quotes when you open your warmers up. And they will always have your information on the top of the box. Uh, the cardboard box that you see on the top, some of them have, make sure you check it because 
it's a good chance your lid is in here. So let's check our lid out here. It is a clear dish. It says a number four on it, which means no more than four cubes. Otherwise, it's going to overflow. I usually use two cubes. Two cubes is usually enough for a good scent throw for me. But you do you. You do you, boo. Inside here, you will have your 25 watt light bulb. And then we have the warmer. Let me set this bad boy up. And I will plug him in for you. Sorry, it's taking a minute. I have a extension cord, so let's hope it works. It's brand new. light bulb in. Light bulb, light bulb. I'm gonna screw the light bulb in. Oh, mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Okay. And what I like about some of these warmers, when they come out, uh, the cord comes out the middle, they have this cut out so you can Set it down like that. That way it's not gonna tippy tippy over on you. We're gonna put the lid on it. I'm gonna plug it in. We're gonna see how this bad boy works. Okay. My extension cord wanted to be a bug face. Okay. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love this warmer and it does have a few little imperfections in some of the glass, but that's what makes it unique because this uh, black part here, you can feel these little tiny rough edges of the little white glass beads that they put in. And then you have these beautiful blue uh, glass inserts and it's more like an aqua green when it is lit. And you could also put different colored bulbs in. Like, the, I think the blue bulb would be gorgeous in this one. It would just bring out the blue. So this is the Marrakesh Warmer. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Now, I have one more warmer. If I can unplug. Okay. There we go. Extension cord is really tight. some of this. Hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, this one uh, is Starry Frontier. Starry Frontier. I got excited there and started opening. <laughs> okay, this one has the dish right on top. So, just take the dish out here. This is just a white dish and you can feel on this dish. It's kind of like a ceramic-y. It also has a number four on it, but it is glazed on the inside. Okay. Kind of a little bit smaller dish than the Marrakesh. And we'll bring this puppy out. They always tuck the bulbs down inside your warmer. You will always get a clear bulb with your warmers. And I need to get out the cord. So yeah, I'm gonna link my stuff below in the description to go onto my Scentsy website. If you wanna check stuff out and buy stuff out, you're more than welcome to. Um, hey, I love Scentsy. And the thing is, it's not just warmers and wax. They also sell uh, stuff for dogs to make your dogs smell good. And it's all safe. Um, body care. They have hand soap, lotion, cream, body wash, um, laundry, a bunch of laundry stuff, laundry detergent, fabric softener, washer whiffs, which you sprinkle in there to make everything smell good. Um, 
They also have cleaning products, um, an all-purpose cleaner, a bathroom cleaner, and a dish liquid. So, and then they have like the Scentsy Buddies, you know, for your kids and stuff, all different kind, all different kinds of stuff. Just go check it out. See if there's anything you like. If not, that's okay too, but. Oh, let me show you. This warmer is so pretty. It has a moose on it and it's got the trees and the moon. It's so cute. And we're gonna see what him looks like with a regular bulb. And then I also got a colored bulb to put in this. So I wanted, I wanted to see what he'd look like. Okay, so we got the clear 25 watt. He's a 25 watt. And I find that these warmers do well, uh, not just with Scentsy Wax, but also with Vendor Wax. I've not had an issue at all. Okay, let me plug him in. Yeah, I've not had a problem with any of my Vendor Wax not melting in a Scentsy Warmer. So, at least the higher wattages. Now, since he does have some 8 watt element warmers, which are hot plate warmers, I don't think any 8 watt warmer is going to do you good. Okay, now this one just comes out the back, so you don't have a little notch. I don't know how good you can see this, but this is with a clear bulb. Isn't it cute? I love this. It would look so pretty at nighttime. And the light comes out all these little, like, stars. They're supposed to be like stars. Really, really, really pretty. Okay. We're going to put a colored bulb in here, y'all. And they're colored bulbs you can get for the 25 watt and if you have a 15 watt warmer, which is the plug-in wax warmers for your wall, the little plug-in wax warmers, um, 15 watt, they have the colored bulbs. They just don't have colored bulbs for 20 watts, which they do have some 20 watt warmers. These bulbs are $2 a piece, not a bad price. I got a purple one. So... This is the purple bulb we're gonna see. Oh, I guess I need to take out the clear bulb first. Uh, okay. okay, we're gonna see what this looks like. We're gonna see what this looks like. Uh, why is it not working? Are you kidding me? There it goes. Okay. Oh, I guess it is on. You just can't see it all that great. Okay. You cannot see it all that great. Let me see. Eh. Eh. I don't think you're going to see it all that great. You're not going to be able to see it all that great. Dang it. It is not showing up all that great in here. That's a bummer, isn't it? But I've seen pictures with it in, and when it's dark, you can definitely see it. It glows. Ah, okay. All right. Since we couldn't see it that great with this one. See, I didn't even think it was on. But I have seen pictures. Okay. We're going to try something else. And I'm going to wait and see tonight and see if that thing is glowing. <laughs> All right. I am so unorganized, y'all. I'm always unorganized. That's just, that's just me. That's just who I am. Miss Unorganization. Okay. Hey, Miss Gracie. Okay, this is with the purple. I don't know if you can see it all that well, but it is pretty. And I can see that like at night, it would come out more on this one. It's pretty, it's pretty. So anyway, y'all, thank you for watching. I hope y'all have a great and wonderful day. My link is down below. 
and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.